Yo, what is going on guys? Dr. Schwaz here. Today, I've got a video for you guys on class recommendations and tips for mastering all Operation One Hives. So this is going to be a video series I'm making where I'm just going to be discussing uh, what class recommendations or rec classes I recommend you bring into a hive to master it the first time successfully with a group of buddies based on um, what's available in the supply rooms, the enemies that you can pull, and vice versa. So let's get started right here. So the hives I'm going to talk about today are the Hunters, the Surge, uh, the Wanderer, Venom Run, which is a very fun one, one act short hive, uh, the Labyrinth, Forever, which is a broken buggy hive, but I'll still discuss it. Uh, <laughs> The Clock, another boosting hive to like the Surge, um, the Trap, and the Last Stand. So yeah, let's get right into this, with uh, starting with the Hunters. Alrighty guys, so the Hunters was the first hive that came out that wasn't a launch hive. Um, at one point in time, it used to have Healing Sirens as a mutator. But uh, in later operations, that's been replaced with Ghost Sires. And you also have more Sires and more melee damage. So this is a exclusive um, melee-dependent hive, I think. So characters like Blade Master and Protector, right off the bat, will be very useful. Uh, Protector, of course, is very useful without the Venom. Because you can always get bleeding damage for Blade Master, a.k.a. Lonnie. You're going to have to wait on the Venom. To, to be more effective so um, there's a lot of sires almost every encounter uh, with the more sires mutator on which will be on if you're doing it on master you're gonna have almost two sires in every encounter when you go to the supply room there'll be two sires or three sires that rush you so be be sure to communicate with your team um, and get get that B button ready um, so on the map overhead here, I'm going to show basically on all the highs I discussed today, a map overhead where I'll discuss, I'll show you what's in each supply room or in the safe room. And then um, based on that, you can kind of gauge what classes um, you should bring or recommend bringing. Uh, obviously, of the 19 classes, there are a lot of combinations that could work. So feel free to mix and uh, choose whichever you feel work best for you. Um, so I mentioned Blade Master and Protector. Uh, the Hunters um, is a melee damage hive, so it's got the uh, melee enemies may do triple melee damage to you. Uh, there's more sires and there's ghost sires, and then there's the traditional mutators, uh, more health, more lethal, Iron Man, etc. Region penalty. Uh, so in the first supply room, um, off to the left outside the spawn room, you can have a boom shot. So I bring, recommend bringing a tactician. Um, very useful. Um, almost always uh, somewhere in the first act, you're going to have deal with a grenadier of some sort or an elite grenadier. So uh, I recommend bringing an infiltrator. The stim build works excellent. Um, you can pretty much point blank a sire with a nasher active and kill it uh, on master. So an infiltrator works really well. And also. Um, in the safe room, there is a retro lancer, so uh, I recommend maybe even bringing a nomad or even a veteran, um, so you can do executions. Um, for nomad, you, you if you bring the correct build, executions can put the sires in fear, giving you some crowd control opportunities for your teammates, um, so they can get out of fights and stuff. So those are the classes I recommend. Again, blade master, protector. Infiltrator, um, Tactician, because there's a boom shot, and lots of explosive crates, and Nomad, because there's a retro answer in a, in a supply room as well. Alrighty, guys, so the Surge, um, obviously a boosting hive on insane difficulty or even inconceivable, but Von Master, I think, is one of the hardest ones. Uh, so the mutators on the Surge are unique um so you basically have more drones that can spawn more filler enemies like redets and juvies that can spawn more pouncers can spawn and more scions can spawn 
Um, normally the easiest path to go is the left pathway. Um, there's three paths at the start of the first chapter. Uh, showing the map overhead now. The left pathway is easier because you only you do not have to deal with scions. Um, you only deal with flusher enemies like rejects, jubies, drones, pouncers. Um, the middle pathway, if you choose to go there, is two multra scions and jubies. And the right pathway, if you choose to go there, there's two salvo scions and a bunch of grenadiers and drones. Um, so I recommend bringing Blade Master, even though this is a slow venom hive. I think because of Blade Master's shock chain ability, it can be very useful um, in the left pathway for sure to take all all those enemies um, once you kept waiting for the venom. Uh, Anchor is really good here since there's no ammo starvation. You don't have to worry about running out of bolt talk ammo. Um, max bleeding bolt talk can really much eliminate a lot of the smaller enemies um, pretty easily. Uh, I also recommend bringing a tactician. If you take the middle pathway, there is a boom shot. If you survive to the supply room, that is, um, there's a boom shot and a retro lancer and flashbangs uh, for whoever needs them. Um, also, nomad would would work too, since there's a retro lancer in that supply room in the middle path. Uh, could be very useful in the second half to retrocharge those elite drones and. Uh, put enemies in fear via phase um, to help your team out in the second half. Uh, maybe you're getting ambushed by like a Multra Scion and and the uh, Nomad retrocharges the drone and it puts them in fear for a couple seconds. So that can be useful to bring. Um, the third pathway on the right, there's a drop shot in that supply room. Um, Gunner is really good to bring. So if you go the middle path, you're going to get two Multra Scions, and if you go to the right path, you're going to get two Salvo Scions. So whichever path you choose, uh, he's going to have a heavy weapon um, that he can obtain via his ultimate um, after killing the Scion, so you can use that to survive the second half. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the Surge. Um, obviously, if you're running just the speed run, you can bring whatever class you'd like. Uh, the Master run, I recommend Blade Master again, Tactician. Gunner is really useful. Um, anchor because there's no ammo starvation and nomad also can be very useful um, with this execution build Alrighty guys, so the wanderer so this is the unique hive because of Invincible multra science so the objective in this hive mainly is to trap the multra science in the supply rooms You're gonna have one in the very beginning of the first chapter and one in the very beginning of the second chapter um so basically the gist of it is you want to choose a supply room that you can trap him in, um, flashbang him once he enters, and then close the door on him, and, and then continue throughout the hive. Uh, the Wanderer, um, it's got three supply rooms in the first chapter. I uh, have a map overhead showing that. I'll, I'll always have map overheads and gameplay kind of going back and forth as I talk, um, so just bear with me there. <laughs> Um, I recommend bringing, since you have a uh, explosive crate in one room and then a boom shot in the other, tactician of course is a great right there. Um, like I mentioned in a previous video where I may talk about the launch hives, you, nothing you can't go wrong with anchor. Um, Boltock bleed is very great to have because you don't all you need is an active Boltock and. I don't know if ammo boxes and you'll be good um, to eliminate the hunters and all the drones in the early part. Um, you could also use the drone, uh, the Boltock, to taunt the Muntra Scion to walk a certain way if you wanted to. Um, Blade Master works really well here. The Venom can't catch up on you if you're not quick enough. Um, and that Blade Master has a card that will allow the class to survive in the Venom a little longer. Um, there's also flashbangs, which are really useful for melee characters to bring because they're not as effective, you know, if there's a shock grenade planted somewhere and it goes off, you can't do anything there. Um, one thing I want to caution in the Wanderer, this is the first hive with ultra stopping power. So, it is one of my least favorite mutators, it's very annoying, but be wary of that. Um, just... Try not to get shot too much, I suppose. Uh, 
Um, another class I recommend bringing, uh, Brawler is really cool. For a lot of hives, you can survive, um, there's a lot of jubies and stuff in this one. A lot of small flusher enemies. Uh, Brawler can be really good, um, because you can survive encounters, and he has a lot of health. Um, he gets stim on tackle kills, things like that. It works really well. Uh, to keep him alive, also a really good decoy for you your other two teammates to have a fight somewhere else where the brawler is dealing with some other enemies so I, I'd recommend bringing a brawler you could also bring um, there is a Lancer at the second half so you, you could bring a Nomad um, it's up to you or a veteran but again I recommend the three um, the three high buster characters Blade Master, Inker, Tech and, and uh, Blade Master, Anchor, and Tactician work really well here. Um, and that's pretty much the Wanderer. So the main thing, uh, you're going to have Drop Shot Science or Buzzkill Science in the second half. So that'll work really well for uh, Tactician. You'll have an extra explosive weapon to deal with. So you can fight the enemies at the LZ when you pull the door. Um, and that's pretty much Wanderer. I'm going to go on to the next hive. Alrighty guys, so let's discuss a Venom run here. Uh, so this is a one act speed run hive race to the LZ um, and run past the Venom type of hive. You don't really have time to fight here. Um, so when you spawn in, you're going to go to the supply room and you're going to get, uh, you have flash pings, you can pick up Nasher, Overkill, and Large Stim Packs. So the mutators in this hive are... Um, unique ones, you've got more melee damage, so the enemies do triple melee damage to you. So bringing characters that can resist melee damage can be useful here. Um, super fast Venom, ultra fast Venom already. The Venom moves pretty fast. It's a little slower than roadie run speed. So if, as long as you're effective at roadie running and uh, sliding in and out of cover quickly, you should, will be ahead of the cloud, uh, the Venom cloud, so you won't die. And there's also Ultra Stopping Power, a very um, annoying mutator. And one way to counteract it is once you're getting shot by bullets, try to tap A and roll. There's no stopping power when you roll, only when you run it seems. So if you can roll as much as possible while getting shot, you can kind of dampen that effect. Just a quick tip there. Uh, since there's so much Venom, I recommend bringing Blade Master and Anchor. Uh, Blade Master and Anchor classes have Venom resistance where they can take less damage in the Venom. And they also have extra health cards or healing cards to um, amplify their survivability in this situation. Um, I also recommend bringing Infiltrator since there's a Nasher and Overkill in the supply room at the beginning. Um, you can, you and their stem, um, you can... Start with stim, and then you can, if you need to kill anything with a Nash overkill, you can use Reaper and get more stim. So that's a great class to bring. Uh, Nomad works really well too because of the execution uh, shield build that he has, or you can execute enemies um, at max cards. You can execute a drone or something and uh, put enemies in fear via phase, and then use Menace to recharge the ultimate. So Nomad's really good. Um, he's got decent stim as well. Notice that there are two supply rooms that you pretty much will not have time to go to. But if you did have time, there are flashbangs in one supply room. And on the right, there's explosive crates, frags, a boom, and large stim pack. So maybe you could bring a tactician, but I don't recommend it. Because if you have to go to that supply room, chances are once you leave it, there will be a venom cloud everywhere. And you probably will die. <laughs> So if you're going there, it's probably because you're either doing a solo run or you're going there for score, you're trying to get the tag. So um, I also recommend bringing Brawler. Um, Brawler is really useful because he's got damage resistant cards like uh, like Damage Sass where he takes less damage when he runs. And also, when he recharges his ultimate, you fight Inner Fire, which can stack, and you can take less damage uh, during the ultimate when it's ready. So, very cool hive. Uh, there's Multra Science and several encounters that you need to flashbang in order to get get to these LZ. 
So flash bangs are really useful and knowing how to throw them and stunning. And a lot of times the failure in this hive happens because the Mulcher Scion did not get stunned by the flashbang, so <laughs> be wary of that. Um, so the classes I recommend here on Venom Run are Blade Master, Anchor, Brawler, Infiltrator, and Nomad. Of course, you can bring certain other classes if you like. Those are just the ones I recommend based on the weapons that are available and the enemies that you'll fight. Alrighty, guys. So the Labyrinth is a hive, basically exclusive... Um, what's unique about this is you have wardens that are ghost and invincible. Um, there's a lot of doors that you can trap them in. Um, there's no right or wrong way to trap wardens efficiently. Um, as long as you can trap a warden where um, you can't, they can't get out, so you have a door that's shut on both sides. Ideally, you want to trap as many wardens as you can in a certain area. Um, there's a really efficient way to do it in Act 2, but... If you're solo or new to escape, it may not be done that way. However, um, on the map overhead here, I have basically where all the wardens spawn, kind of in the white shaded area in Act 1, that's kind of where they'll spawn. So once you pass certain areas, you may need to close doors behind you so that you don't get killed by or uh, killed by a warden. Also, one thing I want to mention about wardens is even though the doors may be shut behind you and there's a warden back there, um, you want to be away from the door because sometimes wardens can slam their maces through the door and hurt you and do damage to you. And sometimes if you're down and there's a warden across the door, he can actually kill you through that door. That's a glitch. I mean, it's a bug with the game, but I just want to let you know about that. On the classes I recommend um, bringing here, uh, a tactician for sure. There's a boom shot in one of the supply rooms and frags in the other supply room. Um, also recommend bringing a marksman because there are there's a long shot available in one of the supply rooms as well, so you can use that long shot to, to kill the imagos and drones. Um, and then prior to the safe room, there's buzz, a buzz skill site and some enemies there. And you can also use really effectively his um, X-ray ability um, prior to the LZ. There's a couple of buzz skill scions and some drones you can he can snipe and uh, make that part really easy uh, brawler is really good um, since he's got damage resistance so if you get hit by a warden you probably won't go down um, really good class to bring for a distraction like if you need if your two teammates are fighting something a brawler can deal with the wardens and trap them flashbang them while you, uh, your two teammates are fighting so, Brawler is a really good class to bring. Um, also, you can bring in Demolitions in Act 2 when the pathway is split. On the left path, there's a Supply Room with the Lancer GL and Explosive Crates. So, you can bring a Lancer um, uh, Demolitions um, because of the Lancer GL. So, he's got cards for that to make that stronger. Um, really helpful in fighting the second, uh, the larger fight before the LZ. Um, can't go wrong with Anchor, of course. Uh, there's no ammo starvation, so you're going to pretty much, uh, you can pretty much take care of enemies, uh, the smaller enemies with the Boltok bleeding. Um, there's some Grenadiers, of course, available, so, um, and also, if there's always, almost every hive has Grenadiers somewhere in them, elite or not. Uh, so, I'd also recommend an Infiltrator. This is a unique hive. You can really bring, or not a unique hive, but a hive that's pretty versatile. I mean, you can you could bring a class to boost. Um, there's a lot of classes you can bring. Um, so, and also a gunner would work pretty good too. Um, there's a salvo of the second uh, act. If you take the right path, there's a fire drum with it. So, you, gunner would work there with the salvo, get the extra ammo. Um, the stunning ability for within 15 meters could be really useful. Again, classes I recommend for the Labyrinth, Demolitions, Tactician, Brawler, Marksman, Blade Master, Anchor, and Infiltrator. Of course, I'm not limited to those few classes. Bring whatever you like, experiment with it, let me know how it goes. 
Alrighty, so moving on to Forever. This is a very buggy hive and has been for a while. Um, so there are some segments where there are no enemies that spawn. Um, so maybe you can go through the entire hive and only fight maybe a warden. Or sometimes the enemies spawn normal. So just be on the lookout for that. Uh, it's still kind of buggy and uh, glitchy. So just wanted to let you all know that first firsthand. Um, so this map, you have a lot of different enemy spawns. You can have like leeches or rejects in one area and then have drones in another. So it's kind of random. Um, there's no specific RNG that I noticed. Um, like prior to the safe room, you can either have scions or you could have a stump or you could have flock. It could really be anything. Um, classes I recommend bringing um, in the supply room, not the very first one, but after the first encounter. There's a supply room with a boom shot, so you can bring a tactician, um, so you can res and then you can resupply his boom or his teammate's ammo. The supply room across um, from where the boom is, there's long shot and explosive crates to fill the boom ammo. Uh, so you can bring a marksman um, as well, or a nomad. Uh, it can work to, uh, to do extra long shot damage. Um, also, you can't go wrong with Anchor or Blade Master. Like I said, the three high buster characters, you can never really go wrong with any any of them. As long as there's Venom somewhere, you, you can make those characters useful. Uh, Anchor, there's plenty of blue boxes, so, and especially if you're being a tactician, so you'll have plenty of bleed, bleeding bolt talk ammo. Blade Master will be useful. Um, this high of unique. Um, you, I think it has, yeah, it has even stronger enemies and ghost enemies, so pretty useful to bring Blade Master because she's got damage resistance for melee damage in the passive and then Thrill the Hunt and all these cards to make, um, that character more survivable. Um, in the second chapter, uh, you can pull a lot of different type of enemies. You can pull a stump or a salvo scion. I know first encounter or even a flock or a bastion. There's a bunch of things you can get. Um, there is several supply rooms. Um, one of them is a mulcher. So maybe you could bring a gunner. So you, can, you can pick up the mulcher and then fight the enemies prior to the LZ. And maybe use his ultimate. I don't know. You can bring uh, maybe even a, a veteran. Uh, there's a lancer. Um, in another supply room in that in the second chapter uh, Maybe he can change out some drones uh, Or um, the veteran can use his ultimate to clear the enemies um, At the LZ or that'll spawn once you close the door so uh, This like I mentioned this hive is buggy so uh, the Classes I recommend are tactician because there's a boom marksman because there's a long shot uh, nomad and veteran because there's a lancer available so you could bring it in the second half there is a lancer available but it's pretty late uh, and, and then a veteran you can bring um, because he's got immunity during executions uh, blade master is also really useful um, because there's even stronger enemies and ghost enemies uh, useful to survive in encounters like that and that's pretty much for everyone. We'll on to the next one. Alrighty, the clock. So, this is a hive that I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with because you can boost um, classes, character, XP, whatever you mean, whatever have you. Um, when we did the tutorial for this way, way back, uh, we went the left pathway in the second half. So what I'm showing on the screen here in a second, you'll see um, the first act, which uh, I'm very familiar. You've got a Nasher Marks and Hammerverse in the first supply room. Um, so based off of that, you can bring a Infiltrator. Um, and there's also three ammo boxes, so you can get extra ammo. Infiltrator is really good. Um, at one point, you will fight. There will be Elite Grenadier, so you can get an Overkill as well. Um, the second supply room has long shot and M bar, uh, also shock grenades. So bringing a marksman or a Foz is very helpful there. 
Uh, there's a third supply room with a drop shot and a fourth supply room with a Lancer DL. So you can bring a demolitions for the Lancer DL damage or a tactician, uh, whatever have you. Uh, they both have bleeding damage on explosives. Um, if you choose to take go to the uh, supply room with the drop shot, you also will have large stim pack and shocks. Um, if you're running the hammer card, um, you can bring a pilot as well. Honestly, if you're doing the clock, the regular path where you don't go the left way, um, you can really bring whatever class you like, of course. So uh, the main thing about the left pathway is the second act, where there's two supply rooms up the ramps. One supply room has uh, three heavy weapons, and the other supply room has the two other ones. And then there's another supply room with more heavy weapons, and there's a fourth supply room with even more heavy weapons. So if you choose to go the left pathway in the clock, it's a really fun with tactician, demolitions, and gunner classes specifically. Um, everyone knows the right path, obviously, is the easier path. Um, you can either get reject spawn, um, and then if you get reject spawn, you have several signs, and of course, if you get elite drone spawn, you can have both skill signs to fight. Um, the supply room, of course, you only have a boom shot, an explosive grenade, and an overkill. So, again, infiltrator, really good. You can get a Nasher from the very beginning supply room, and then an overkill over here, and then you can also get a boom as well. Great for the tactician and the demolitions classes. Uh, so in summary, you can bring whatever class you'd like, but if you are taking the left pathway or the right pathway, I think the best classes to bring for this hive, Infiltrator, because there's a Nasher and Overkill available, Marksman, because there's a long shot and M-Bar, Demolitions and Tactician, because there's GL, Boom Shot, and Drop Shots available, as well as Salvos if you take the longer left path. Gunner, again, if you take the longer left path in the second half, there are plenty of heavy weapons you can deal with. And then pilot um, for the drop shot, if you choose to go to that supply room. Alrighty guys, the trap is a fun hive here. Um, it's actually interesting because when this hive first came out, um, the when you when you went multiple pathways you could only the doors would shut right behind you so sometimes your teammates would be left behind but now it's bugged since like operation four where you can open and close doors both ways um and go whichever path you like without any consequence so if once you spawn in um the left pathway is going to have rejects uh the supply room will, over there will have a marksma I'll have an overhead showing this. The middle pathway, you're going to have either three drones and a sniper, or three drones and a grenadier. So depending on what's there, you can bring a infiltrator for the possibility of having a grenadier available, so you can kill the grenadier and get the nasher. And then the supply rooms will have ammo boxes and stim packs and flashbangs available as well. And then if you have a sniper available um, in the middle pathway, you can bring a marksman. Um, the trap is a hive that um, basically the unique mutators are big recoil. So that all the weapons have significantly high recoil. So if you shoot like a bolt, it goes straight to the ceiling. Um, don't even try shooting like a try shot because two or three bullets have to go straight to the ceiling as well. <laughs> it's also a longer recharge hive, so you want to bring characters that have cards that recharge ultimates quicker. Like um, Blade Master's Ambush card, Anchor's the Venom Recharge card, for example. Um, also, this hive has more stumps as a mutator. Um, you can have up to three in the first act and up to three in the second act. Um, and because of that, uh, I think bringing a gunner is really cool. Um, because since there's no faster venom, even with longer recharge, you may have his ultimate after doing enough damage um, to kill the stumps prior to the safe room. There's two of them, so you can be very useful there. 
Um, tactician, I recommend bringing as well. Um, he won't be very useful in the first chapter because there isn't a gun or an, a frags or anything that you can kill with yet. But in the second chapter, he will be more useful. Because in the second chapter, in the first encounter, you're going to have a Salvo Cyan, and it will be like five elites, elite drones. There will be elite hunters or grenadiers, and then some elite drones. Um, the best combination, of course, is the elite hunters paired with the Salvo Cyan. So you can pick up a Torque Bow and a Salvo and then move forward. Um, in the second chapter, there's also a boom shot. Um, once he kills the Salvo Cyan Elite Drones, you can take the left path out the second act. And there are certain enemies you have to fight before going to that supply room and getting a boom. Um, you can also bring a Marksman here. Again, he won't be very useful until the second chapter because there isn't a, a long shot until you reach the second act. On the right pathway, there's a supply room on the long shot. So, um, you can't go wrong with Anchor, of course, or Blade Master, like I mentioned before. I wouldn't really recommend Blade Master. There's you have to wait really, really long for the Venom um, to be any to have any impact. Of course, you could bring Blade Master, experiment with the classes however you choose. Um, I think Anchor would be useful. The Boltok um, recoil isn't terrible it just takes some getting used to um and there's plenty of ammo so you can always bring an anchor um yeah and, the, and pretty much that's the trap uh the class i have a map overhead showing um pretty much what's in the supply rooms there's seven of them and uh yeah so the classes i recommend on the trap infiltrator because you're gonna have grenadier somewhere um early on um they can get an Asher and then be effective there. Uh, marksman you can bring because either you're going to have drones or snipers in the middle pathway depending on the RNG. So you can bring a Marksman. A Gunner is really useful because he has the shortest ultimate in the game. Um, it can be very useful on killing the stumps using his ultimate uh, Reflect Shredder to kill and bleed the stumps with the try shot. Uh, tactician can be very useful, uh, especially in the second half when he gets a salvo, boom shot, uh, frags, things like that. And also anchor because of the Boltok bleed. Alrighty, so last stand is the final hive in Operation 1. Uh, there are nine of these. Uh, so when this hive came out, it was one of the hardest in the game because of enemies coming from both sides once you jump down the ramp and the enemies spawn infinitely until you pass a certain point so that was why it was difficult and then the venom of course is pushing you forward in either direction to the left or the right safe or whichever you decide to go classes i recommend bringing um tactician uh, because down low in the pit once you run down the long ramp or long long hallway to the ramp um, there's going to be a salvo for two frags and then there's a locker um, there's a bunch of peppy weapons down there too there's a tri shot a buzz kill a salvo of course um, there's two frags a shock and then a weapon locker um, and then there's two split paths whether you go left or right um, safe room uh, this is the also, this is a hive where, not that many hives, where there's weapons in the spawning room. So once you spawn, there's going to be overkill, a claw, and a hammer burst. Um, so an overkill, you can bring uh, an infiltrator. Uh, can be useful. Pair it up with the tactician, get the extra ammo. There are no ammo boxes in this hive other than the safe room. So just be on the lookout for that if you want to bring an infiltrator um, you will be low on ammo but you do have an overkill right from the beginning i like bringing a gunner on this hive this is because no matter which path you go i always take the right safe room i think it's a lot easier than the left safe room um 
no matter which path you go, you're going to fight elite drones uh, in Grenadiers, and there's always going to be, not always, but some most of the time, prior to the save room, you're going to fight a Mulcher Scion. Um, so the, the Gunner's Ultimate is really good for reflective, reflecting all the bullets back to him. Um, you can't go wrong with Blade Master, it's just you got to wait for the Venom to be useful. Um, honestly, I think the best or easiest thing to do is wait for, like, the pilot to get the Silverback, or wait for the Gunner to get the Ultimate, and then just run behind him to the first save room on the right. Um, whoever makes it, makes it. I think it's probably the easiest thing to do on Master. Um, tactician, um, the salvo, you want to bring over the ledge, and if you make it to the safe room, great, because that'll make the second half so much easier. Um, also, you can bring an anchor if you want, um, there's, especially if you spare it with a tactician, you'll have plenty of bolt talk ammo, plus you can pick up the ammo boxes in the ammo room, too. Um, I don't really go in the left safe room. Second act, there's two level two lockers and a large room where you can fight the enemies coming from the LZ. Um, pretty much always take the right safe room. The reason because it's just a straight linear path all the way to the end. Um, and uh, the enemies spawn in like three, three waves. And once you get to the LZ, there's a spawning area, which I'll show you on the map overhead here, uh, where the enemies spawn. And pretty much you can just play nades there and go to town. I like, this is the time I love boosting on, but uh, boosting cards on is really good uh, for certain classes. So again, classes I recommend Tactician, Gunner, Blade Master, Infiltrator, Anchor, and Pilot. Uh, work really well. And that pretty much summarizes uh, my class recommendations and tips and tricks tutorial for all Operation One Hives, uh, stay tuned for the next uh, um, installment <laughs> where I'm going to be going through the six Operation Two Hives and then, and that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope, I hope this video um, gave you some insight, some help on the recommendations on what to do and how to, how to tackle each of these hives. Thank you all so much for watching and have a good one.